What's up, degenerates? Uh, man, I'm feeling good today. Sunday, sub Sunday, February 19th. Gonna be awesome today. Um, yeah, we've been playing Terra uh, this past weekend, and Terra ha came out with the European beta um, recently, and that was on Friday and Saturday. So we played the European beta for about uh, two days, nine hours, nine eight, about 20 hours worth. Uh, I hit level 22, we did a dungeons. I played a warrior this time. Now, I wanted to play a warrior because I wanted to try out tanking as a warrior. Apparently, tanks, or warrior tanks, aren't supposed to be, like, the main tanks of the game. They're kind of like the bastard child of the fucking Lancers. So, uh, I loved the warrior, and, um, at first it was kind of frustrated. Um, I was frustrated tanking as a warrior. Because in order to, you know, avoid damage, they're, like, they're basically, like, dodge tanks. So you have to barrel roll, and that gives you the buff to, uh, you know, take less damage or whatever, uh, to build up your dodge. And it's kind of weird, like, having to, like, fight with dual, uh, dual weapons and, or dual wielding, and just keep barrel rolling everywhere around you. It's like you're barrel rolling. It's like you're a panda, but you're not. I played an Amon, an Amon, whatever, warrior, but as I got to the last dungeon, I actually started to love it. It was like, you know, it was so easy to just, like, barrel roll through the mob, hit him from behind, then barrel roll through the other side. It's like, I kept fucking, it was like I was mind-fucking the goddamn mobs I was facing. I ran through them, they're like, where'd he go? Behind me, bam! Fucking went through them, where'd he go? Bam! And, um, it was pretty fun, so I'm gonna upload about three hours worth of, um, uh, excuse me, uh, about an hour's worth of warrior tanking at level 22, uh, in Bastion in the dungeon. Um, 22 is the highest that we were allowed to go into European beta. Um, next week is back to the U.S. North American beta, and we're gonna be able to hit level 27 over there. Now, PvP, not liking it at all. Um, not gonna lie. Um, the PvP in Terra sounds like it's gonna be fun when it comes to, like, uh, death matches. And when it comes to, like, you know, um, Battlegrounds or whatever they may have in the North American version. But it, it just feels... Okay, this is how you PvP, right? You hit level 11. After level 11, on a PvP server, you can be de you can be declared ward on or outlawed or whatever. You have a little uh, button called, you know, declare war. It's like an outlaw button. You hit the button, and as you hit the button... It declares war on the person that you want to declare war on. But you don't really only declare war on that one person. You're like, I declare war on everybody. And it's like, oh my god. I only wanted to kill these three people, but apparently I just flagged myself for everyone around me. So once you declare war, you better hope you have like a posse of like 30 or 40 people. Because then you're fucked if you're not. Because what we did is I only had like five people with me. And there were these guys standing in front of this uh, herb that we, that we wanted to herb as well. So we're like, fuck you, we want to herb it. You, we don't want you to herb it, we want to herb it. So I declared war on them. But then the other 60 people surrounding me who were doing doing their own thing, they saw that I was flagged and they could kill me. So they all just fucking annihilated us in two seconds. So, I mean, not, not only that, but there's also collision with the characters. So on a lot of servers, luckily there's different channels and phases. Because on a lot of servers, like, let's say going to the first dungeon, I was trying to get to the first dungeon with my group. It was almost like back in uh, WoW days, uh, where you had, like, a 40-man raid standing in front of the portal, killing people as they came in. Like, usually when raids started back in WoW at 7 o'clock p.m., like, Eastern time, it didn't really start till 8. Because on a PvP server, you would have to deal with getting ganked and then having everyone wait till everyone's in the instance. And that was 40 people you were waiting for. But on the way to the dungeon yesterday, there was just, like, you know, a guild, a PvP guild, barricading the pathway and killed anything that came in uh came through it now see the pvp in terra seems like it's really good if you're going to be dedicated to world pvp like i think ruinous would love this shit i think if ruinous were to hit up a pvp server like in north america they would like probably make people nerd rage and quit the game and just like uninstall the game and quit and go to another server re-roll like a pve because you can literally barricade an entranceway and not let anyone through. And they had like 30 people there, and we were only five. So, I mean, for me to actually care enough about PvP to a point where it's going to be like, you know, a hassle just to level. I mean, think about it. After level 11, you could be fucked. Let's say, you know, you're someone like me, you know? Let's say you're a tally. Oh my god, I'm tally. Um, all of a sudden, now you have, like... A hundred trolls on your server create a guild 
basically, you know, just focused on the point of killing you. And since I live stream, it's easy to stream snipe where I'm going to be, where I'm going to go. I'm going to have a hard time. So for me, it doesn't really work that way. And not to mention, I really don't play games for PvP. So when it comes to Terra North America, I'm probably going to roll on a PvE server just so I could do what I want to do, which is quest, hit max level, professions, raiding, dungeons, all that good shit. And on PvE servers, there's still going to be stuff like, um, you know, battlegrounds and death matches. So I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. But, you know, I'll let the other people, you know, because, I mean, in my case, if I roll a PvP server and I have, like, about 50 other people who maybe don't want me to level, they'll make sure that I don't level. It's possible. You, I mean, unless I have, like, a group of 100 people with me the entire, like, three weeks that it might take for me to level, it's just not worth it. And, um... Yeah, it does sound a, a, a little bit like QQ, but once again, I do not care about PvP enough to, like, get hassled, you know, while I'm trying to do my PvE. So, when I when Terra comes out, I will be rolling on a PvE North American server, that is a fact. Uh, I will have, I'll probably have, like, a side guild later on, uh, just for, like, a Tally's World Order type of thing for PvP, just for fun, if people are dedicated enough. If Because if you're going to do a PvP uh, guild on the PvP servers, you better hope you have mass numbers. You're allowed 300, uh per guild, so, sorry trolls, you know, I'm going to roll PvE server, but you can always roll with me on a PvE server, I don't, I don't have any problem with that, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Terra is fun, uh, the warrior tanking, I ended up loving it, um, you're going to see a video of me doing the battleground, um, later on that day on Friday, we played Twisted Metal for the first time, I played the first, uh, storyline, which is Sweet Tooth, it was amazing, it was really graphic, uh, the story was awesome, Calypso, uh, voice acting was pretty good. Sweet Tooth voice acting, not so great. Um, you're going to see the video of me doing the entire uh, campaign for Sweet Tooth. It's about like an hour and a half worth of uh, footage. You'll, excuse me, you'll see that on my YouTube. Uh, what else do we have? Um, mm, 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 mm. Downloaded, um, oof, man, I had breakfast, I'm sorry. Ooh. Uh, just downloaded Uncharted Golden Abyss for the Vita. I'm going to be playing that this morning. Uh, it's only about 10.30 right now, so I have about like three and a half hours till I live stream. Uh, today is Sub Sunday. We have a good lineup of games for Sub Sunday. Uh, there's really nothing, let me, let me look at the list right here. There's nothing really crazy, like, you know, anything that's, uh, you know, Barbie or, or Hello Kitty, but there's a lot of really good quality games that I'm going to try today. And today, we're going to call today Sub Sunday Throwback, because a lot of games today focus on, like, what first started a lot of today's genres, you know, like FPSs and MMOs and shit, so it's going to be an amazing day for Sub Sunday. I suggest you all come. And for those of you who don't know, Sub Sunday is simply um, a day where the subscribers of my channel, Tally's HD Gaming, um, decide what game they want me to play. So I take the list every day. I actually copy and paste the game member's name, game member's name. And uh, I got about 168 entrants this week, uh, entries this week. I put them all on random.org, hit generate, and the first 10 uh, that came out are the ones that I'm going to be playing. And uh, some games that come out, uh, some I can't even play on like full screen mode or windowed mode, so I had to like niche them for now. And I message those people telling them that I'll make sure to work on it so that next week I'll have it. But uh, the subscriber option is the option that's in my channel. Um, we have over 1,100 subscribers now, exactly 1,172 subs on my channel. Uh, these people, uh, these fans, these enthusiasts, as, I, as we call them from my channel, they pay $4.99 a month on my channel to watch me commercial free you get a hammer next to your name we we we, are, we were sending out a newsletter but I've kind of put that on pause for now because of like all the busy stuff that's been going on between like the new years and christmas and valentines day and all these like breaks and shit and uh we've we've substituted the newsletter with sub sunday for now uh the the newsletter will come back in march the newsletter basically is like an update on all my characters and um what's going to happen is you're going to have both sub sunday and a newsletter and you also get entered into a contest um, to uh, win prizes every month. The prizes go from fucking processors to video cards to game time to keyboards to mouses. Last month, we gave away an, uh, an i7-2600K processor. We gave out an SSD card, a Black Widow Ultimate, a Razer Naga Epic, game time. Uh, now in February, we're going to be giving away 10 prizes because there's over a 1,000 subscribers. And, uh, you know, and, and it's a good thing. You know, the subscriber option is good uh, for me because I receive 50% of that money. Twitch receives the other 50%. And uh, you guys get the normal, same quality entertainment you've received since I started doing this. 
And uh, I love the subscriber option, and I'm very thankful to Twitch for allowing me to have it. Um, YouTube is looking good uh, as well. Um, uh, for the, uh, my rating videos generated a lot of revenue for me for YouTube. Um, you know, I think I made something about like uh, 1300 bucks in YouTube for the month of December, which is pretty awesome because what happens is um, as people watch my old videos, that also counts toward the revenue for YouTube. So that's pretty awesome. So, you know, I have some of those videos from like uh, Deathwing 10 Man during the beta that I got like 140,000 views for. That's like really good for like YouTube money. <laughs> YouTube money, Twitch money, YouTube, Twitch money. It's like, um, and it's really good because, you know, even though I don't really participate that much in the YouTube video making on the main TGN channel as much, I still spread the word about TGN and I still, you know, give them my overlays and I still give them the shout outs and I still link people to it on my uh, live stream, uh, as well as my personal channel, uh, Console Crusader, that also counts for TGN. That's owned by TGN, that partnership. So, uh, I, and I get a lot of good views from you guys who watch these video logs. Uh, all the time, and any other video that I post um, that comes from Twitch uh, live streaming. But um, yeah, I mean, YouTube, YouTube money, good. Twitch money, good. Subscribers, good. Uh, if you guys, um, you know, want to subscribe, you go to the main channel on twitch.tv slash tally. There's a button there. And uh, But today is Sub Sunday. We're going to be playing some great games. I hope you guys all want to come out and hang out and chill. Um, it's not a day where we play the normal shit. Like, we don't raid, we don't PvP, we don't play WoW or Star Wars or Terra unless it's requested. And um, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, there's going to be um, probably uh, a lot of the Holy Sacrament going around. So it's going to be fun-filled. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, just finish watching Robin Hood. Decent movie. Decent movie. I don't think I don't think Russell Crowe was the right actor for Robin Hood. They should have bought back Kevin Costner. Yeah, Kevin Costner. He owns. It's kind of like Batman, right? It's like, do you really like, you know, the new Batman, George Clooney, or Michael Keaton? It's like, Michael Keaton's like the man. It's like, you want to get nuts? Come on. It's like, he's the fucking man. Michael Keaton's always going to be Batman to me, no matter what the fuck happens. Uh, yeah, fuck Adam West. I don't give a shit. But uh, I still, I'm still rocking the Droid 4. Uh, I'm loving it. Um, I, I, I'm probably going to call AT&T after I'm done with this uh, live stream and tell them that I do not wish to have their services anymore. And uh, I hope that they don't charge me a fee for canceling because the problem with AT&T was that I got no bars. And, like, for me... Looking at my iPhone. I mean, I might still keep my iPhone uh, just for um, the purposes uh, of having it as an MP3 player. Some people on the live stream want me to give it away. They want me to sign the back of it with, like, metallic signature or something and, like, auction it off for charity. I don't know. I might do something crazy with it. Who knows? But so far, I'm loving the Droid. Uh, I, I, I missed the Android market. There's so many awesome fucking, like, apps that we have here. There's, like, the... The Reddit app, heart monitors, all this crazy shit. I found a, I don't, I found a heart monitor one. Watch, it's gonna be like all bright and shit. It's gonna be like, uh, ah, fuck. Uh, it's like you put your finger on like the camera and it just starts recording your pulse. It's like fucking nuts. Like I never knew something like this would exist. Let's see, what's my, what's my heart rate right now? Okay, we're at, okay, eighty five, eighty five, eighty five. If I start yelling, will it go like, ah! 78. Ooh, it went down. Not cool. Keep going, keep going. It's taking a long time. Sometimes you have to, like, take your finger off and put it on. Anyway, whatever, whatever. Uh, it has a lot of great features on this. It has, like, it still has all the apps that I had on the iPhone. But the, the main thing is, is that it's a 4G network. I get full bars all the time. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I haven't gone below the full bars yet. Uh, the wireless network is great. It's fast as fuck. It's like 22 fucking, um, 22 megabit, megabytes when I was, uh, or megabit, whatever, when I was doing the, uh, speed test on it. Amazing. Amazing phone. And I'm probably going to keep it. So sorry, AT&T. We had a good three, four years, but Verizon, I'm back. And now you have to deal with the towel. Anyway. <laughs> Once again, today, Sub Sunday, twitch.tv slash tally. Come check it out. Come hang out. Come have a great time. I'm going to be there. We're all going to be there. We're going to just play all these games. Uh, if you're not fancy to, like, different games and you're, like, one of those really stuck-up assholes who come to the channel only to be like, well, I'm only here to watch, uh, wow, okay? I don't want to watch anything else. I, I really don't want to. Peace the fuck out. See you guys there. Later, baby. Hammer's up. Who's going to be next?